so it, nice what they're doing. And it amazes me how many people litter by throwing things outside of their cars. So yeah. the fact that that kid said that, he's right. Stop throwing things out of your cars. We can all learn a me. lesson from that little right. guy right there. Totally. But yeah, let's talk about the beautiful weather. Oh, because great day, day to be that. out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a little warm in some areas. So you needed the hat. You can see a lot of the volunteers had the hat, and I hope they put the sunscreen on. You're going to need it because it's that time of year where things are slowly starting to warm up. So live look outside our Long Beach camera. Lots of sunshine today. Temperatures well above average. And it's all because high pressure is still sitting over Southern California right now. So it is bringing in all of that warmth. You can see outside at the bottom of your screen outside of our broadcast center, 76 for Studio City. And then we're looking at just some light breezes near the coast. This is our Santa Monica Pier camera where everybody is enjoying their nice Saturday. 65 currently for the coast, so a little bit cooler near the coast, but you could see much warmer inland. Inland Empire in Orange County in the upper 70s, 55 for the mountains and 76 for areas like our valleys. Well, today we topped out once again above average. A few, just a couple degrees warmer than yesterday. So with high pressure, we're not seeing a lot of cloud cover at all. Different story though. On the other side of the country, take a look as we show you the rest of the country where we are looking at some severe weather really pushing through the Dallas area and now also pushing into the northern part of Louisiana and then also headed toward the uh, Tennessee Valley over there where we do have a tornado watch in place right now for the northeast quadrant of Louisiana, and that's because we're looking at some very strong winds, and we could even see uh, some really large hail associated with this tornado. So you can see everything up here lit up. We have a flash flood warning, we have severe thunderstorm warnings, and then we also have this tornado warning until about 7:45 in the evening for them. So here in Southern California, a lot calmer and quieter because of this high pressure system. So we're not dealing with the severe weather, but we're dealing with these nice warm temperatures still even at this hour. So low 80s for Ontario and also San Bernardino, 76 for Burbank, 66 for LAX, and 70. 77 for the Santa Cruz Valley. Here's a look at our winds. It's a little bit breezy, and you can see the winds are coming in from the west. So it's pushing in right now from Santa Monica all the way to the Riverside area. And then we also have the breezes coming in for the Lancaster area. High pressure will start to move just a little bit more to the southeast as we head into tomorrow. And that's going to possibly drop temperatures down maybe by a degree or two, but it's still going to stay warm no matter what. You probably won't even feel the difference for tomorrow. But as we head into Monday and Tuesday, you'll notice the difference because we do have a low pressure system coming in from the Pacific Northwest. This will drop in some of the cooler air and then also push that high pressure system a little bit more to the east. There is a chance that we could see a stray shower over some of the mountaintops as we head into Tuesday, but right now it just looks like it's going to stay to the higher elevations because it's still really dry at the surface. And then that low pressure system should be moving out by the middle of the week and then high pressure building in. So that means another warming trend on tap. So even though it's going to stay warmer than normal for the weekend, we start to cool for Monday and Tuesday as that trough brushes just to the north of us, pushing in some of the breezes and also the cooler air. So highs tomorrow will be a mix of upper 60s for the coast, mid to upper 70s inland. You can see we continue to cool from Monday and Tuesday before we start to ramp it right back up again. And we'll start to see those 80 degree temperatures as we head into Thursday with widespread 80s on Friday. Back to you guys.